welcome all in this lecture we are going to learn about low loss transmission line so it is a type of transmission line in which at higher frequency the series resistance is much lesser than omega l since the series resistance is denoted by r so according to this condition the series resistance is much lesser than omega l so it is much lesser than omega l this is the first condition of low loss transmission line moving on to the next condition that is at higher frequency the shunt conductance is much lesser than omega c so the shunt conductance is denoted by g whose value is much lesser than omega c so this is the second condition which is associated with low loss transmission line now let us discuss some parameters which are associated with low loss transmission line so the first parameter is propagation constant since the propagation constant is denoted by gamma whose expression is equals to r plus j omega l multiplied with g plus j omega c on applying the, these two conditions here the propagation constant will become firstly we take this j omega l term common then the first bracket will become r over j omega l plus 1 now simply we take this j omega c term common as a from second bracket so here is j omega c which is taken as a common from this bracket so this is the expression now we take j omega l and j omega c outside this under root so this is j omega under the root lc under the root r over j omega l plus 1 g over j omega c plus 1 now we have to multiply these two bracket inside this under root so gamma is equals to j omega under the root lc under the root 1 plus r over j omega l plus g over j omega c plus r g over j square omega square l c now we have to multiply the we have to remove this imaginary term from the denominator so how we will do this so we have to multiply the imaginary term that is j with both the numerator as well as with denominator so here is j in the denominator and here is j in the numerator similarly j and j here also j is multiplied with both the numerator and denominator now the modified equation will now become 1 plus rj over this j square will become minus 1 so here is plus sign which will be converted into minus over omega l similarly here is jg over this j square become minus and we simply write omega c 
here also as it is j r g j square j cube will now become plus sorry minus then omega square l c since we know that r is less less than omega l and g is less less than omega c so this term will become very small so we can easily ignore this term because it is nearly equal to zero only so the modified equation for the propagation constant will become under the root 1 minus if we take j as a common from both these terms then it become r over omega l plus g over omega c so here is the expression that we derived now this propagation constant is nearly equals to g omega under the root lc then 1 minus j r over omega l plus g over omega c to the power 1 by 2 we just write this under root in the form of 1 by 2 power so by taking the Taylor series and omitting the higher order terms The simplified expression for the propagation constant will become gamma approximately equals to g omega under the root lc multiplied with 1 minus j over 2 r over omega l plus g over omega c. So this is the final expression for the propagation constant in case of law loss transmission line. Now later on we will discuss the next parameter that is attenuation constant. That is alpha and phase constant that is beta since we know that the propagation constant that is gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta so if we compare this expression of alpha plus j beta with this value then we came to know that alpha value is equals to half r under the root c over l plus g under the root l over c so this is the final expression for attenuation constant because we will cross multiply this j omega under the root lc inside this bracket so we came to know that alpha value is becoming this only and the value of beta that is nothing but phase constant is equals to omega under the root lc so this is the expression for phase constant now 
let us discuss about the next parameter that is characteristic impedance so the expression for the characteristic impedance that is z0 is equals to under the root r plus j omega l over g plus j omega c this is the expression for characteristic impedance and since we are discussing about low loss transmission line for which r value is less less than omega l and g value is less less than omega c so since these values are very less than omega l on omega c so we are neglecting the value of r and g in the expression of characteristic impedance so the modified characteristic impedance will now become under the root j omega l over j omega c so we can also write it as under the root l over c so this is the final expression for the characteristic impedance in case of low loss transmission line now let us discuss the last parameter associated with low loss transmission line that is nothing but phase velocity so the phase velocity is denoted by v of p the phase velocity vp is given by the expression that is omega over beta and we calculated the value of beta as beta equals to omega under the root lc so if we substitute the value of beta in this expression then the phase velocity vp now become omega over omega under the root lc so this omega will get cancel out with this omega and the final expression for vp will now become 1 over under the root lc so this is the final expression for phase velocity thank you if you like my videos then do subscribe my youtube channel and press the like button